Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Muslim World Conquest. Let's see how well Caliph Yahya does. Strong and brave. Lowest opinion is a negative 16, and it's the Ecumenical Patriarch. Below that is our cousin. He's an emir. We could just revoke it. Give me your damn duchy. Target cannot be the ongoing justification of any war. We decline. Not joining any, um, any wars. I'm, I mean, I'm only allying people to make them stop bothering me. Alright, so who do we want to attack in order to just gain some quick and easy prestige? Maybe we do raise those. Nope. Now we can't raise nearly as many. This is all retinue. Let's declare a war on you. We have raised levies still somewhere. 360. Whoops. Okay. You are the wrong religion and everything, so we'll declare a holy war for you. We'll also declare a holy war here if we can. You're directly underneath the Basilius. The Basilius has 3,000 men. No reason not to just declare a holy war. We cannot yet declare our jihads. So we have to do regular old holy wars. But we'll do a holy war of, you know, whatever our army is close to. Sounds good. That one. That will be probably enough. You're Andalusian Sunni and you're independent. How'd that happen? That's annoying. That'll be enough to get things under control. I don't want to deal with the south for now. We could probably win most of this with just the retinue. In fact, the retinue can get a little bit stronger as well. Alright, so that army will go there. Um, we will raise the army of this guy, just because it's fairly sizable. And maybe this guy, because he likes us. And that guy. Alright, we'll raise a few. This guy hates us. That or his levy's just depleted. Alright, fine. We'll let the... Eh, yeah, just... Fine. Keep them. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I'm so decisive. Alright. So, yes. Our vassals are pretty happy with us. We do have some factions. We have an independence faction led by some sheikh from down here. Just granted that guy land. Well, my father did. Here's some money. Little brat. We spent, like, what, 2,000, 3,000 gold bribing people? Well worth it, I think. Fortunately, most of this territory was already assaulted, so it's going to be very easy to win this first holy war here, get some prestige and piety. We'll see our vassal opinions go up hugely after just a couple one wars. Basilius might even start to surrender now that we have the ticking war score. It's a very small portion of his territory. Oh, hey, you want to raise an army? Okay, we'll kill it. And do we really want to threaten our cousin? I think we just threaten him, yeah. I am 11. Fear me. He's become decadent, my cousin. Shape up, straighten up. He does not have a regent. Oh, well, that's not fun. Can't even invite him to court. Well, I've become cruel, and my guardian turned me into a kind person instead. I think we've chosen a good guardian. What do you think? Cruel to kind? Absolutely. I love it. Okay, surrender, please. I 
I want that first first little bonus to our prestige and piety. Thank you. So we gain 100 piety, 50 prestige. That's good. So 100 piety, that's worth 4 opinion. 50 prestige is going to give us an extra 1. So 5 opinion just from this. Awesome. Plus we should gain piety, I believe, for creating new vassals here. We're at 228. No, we didn't. Alright, I guess it's just a Christian thing. Whatever. That's fine, too. Oh, that's not part of your duchy, is it? Alright, it's Anatolia. Ain't no reason to go there now. No longer hostile with you, so we'll just pile onto the, that one. And realm stability is pretty solid. Even the ecumenical patriarchs are only at negative four. Just gotta get rid of the get rid of that short reign penalty slowly. He doesn't seem to care about our prestige, which is kinda weird. I guess it's because he's a religious guy. He also doesn't seem to care about our piety, though, either. I don't think you can convert him. I just don't even think it's possible. Okay, so we need to start expanding. <laughs> I just have this compulsive urge to expand. We just have not. We're not going fast enough. I hate dying. I hate it. Succe succession problems are just obnoxious. Having, I mean, being eleven is actually going to work out pretty well for us because we can we can rule for a longer period of time. Fewer successions equals faster world conquest. This is part of Azerbaijan. So we transfer you over. This is part of a duchy that's not created yet. So we'll create it, and then we'll give it to one of those guys. It's fine. And we're on to this guy now. So how many wars are these? We got that guy's war, that guy's war, another war. They're all right in here, so they're all little little itty bitty tiny wars. So we just assault us all, get this out of the way. And then we'll declare a whole bunch of wars, like a ton of wars. And the reason why I didn't do a ton the first time is because we needed to get vassal opinion higher to avoid faction wars, and then also to increase the size of our levy. You don't want to declare 30 wars at once when you have a tiny levy. So you just, uh, just declare a couple, you know, to get your prestige up to 2,000, get your piety up to 500. And then, once everyone loves you, even though we're at maximum everything, that's the other thing, we didn't even have to lower laws. And people still love us. So, next, next thing is going to be monstrous. We're going to declare, I don't know, 20, 30 wars, just something insane. We'll press in every single direction.
Okay, good, good. And the Duchy of Geor Kingdom of Georgia, we still can't take. Um, we got this final war. Just wait for these guys to get there. And we're ready. We will be ready. Do we have an organizer? Organizer would be great. Excellent, we do. Oh, whoa, I almost just quit the game. <laughs> that was clicking a little too quick there. <laughs> that would have been bad. I'm not sure. I don't think the C key will confirm a quick game choice, but you never know. All right, so you are going to want that count. We'll give them to you. All right. Um, this kingdom of Georgia, it's annoying that he still has territory there, but we have a truce timer with you. And we don't have enough prestige to actually break any truces. Empire is huge, very stable. Maybe we, um, maybe we do one more round of tiny wars before we go on our major, major offensive war. We just don't have a lot of men down here. Alright, no, we're going to use these guys for offense still. Let's go attack this guy. Shoot. I'm not going to do a jihad. We don't have enough piety to start doing holy... Uh, doing invasions. But yeah, give me that. Still have a truce with the Byzantine Emperor, I assume. Although he looks young, so no, we don't. He died. Previous Byzantine Emperor is dead. Excellent. Um, let's take something else then. How strong is Bulgaria? Oh my god. Oh my... Uh, whatever the Muslims believe in. Oh my... Allah. You're so weak. And pathetic. You're just so pathetic. Alright, back to this. So you are going to go down here. Should be sufficient. Let's just... Yeah, we'll just, just raise everything. Okay. It's not a lot of wars, really. I've done a lot more than that. I, does anyone remember the record? I think it was like 30 or something. 35, 50, I don't remember. It was a lot. That's one of the reasons why the uh, keyboard shortcuts mod actually increases the bounding of the war dialog box thing down here. It could go all the way to the left side of the screen on 1080p because it got so hard to see all the darn wars that I just made it bigger. So you can declare lots of wars at once and it doesn't change the checksum so it's kinda nice. Uh, 
We lost a battle. Just make sure it's not an important one. We'll get there eventually. We just need to form up. Okay, so you're already sitting there, and actually you're strong enough to assault. Excellent. What is this nonsense? Oh, that's the army of the, uh... <laughs> that's the army of the ecumenical patriarch. He's independent, technically. Independent of his liege. Well, that, what I just said makes no sense at all. Independent of his liege? He doesn't have a liege. Well, I'm his liege. He's not independent. Just trust me on that. He's not independent. Actually, these are insanely easy to assault because they're tangry. They're just really low tech level in the beginning. Very little, very few upgrades. I already tried that. That was a bad idea. Just sit there. Assault it slowly, please. Whatever men we throw away, we don't really care about. We did just lose another battle. I don't like that. Where's this happening? Oh, you idiots are still rallying in. Why would you do that? Here, everyone go there. Either all go in or no one goes in. you. Accept. Aren't you willing to surrender yet? Oh, because there's one more province. Okay. Seems like our succession was not nearly as problematic as I expected it could be. We might not have even needed to give away all that money. Okay, um, I don't even know what to do with this army. Just go away, I guess. This army will march that way-ish. Maybe we should raise some boats. Pick them up over here, ship them over. We did win that battle, finally. Get a couple commanders for these guys. And go smash the remaining force of that. Never going to give up claims because it just causes wars. Marriage Simulator. I know he's actually large enough to fight this one. I'm not sure why he's not. Fighting this one. Ticking war score is going to work its magic now, so let's split the army, keep half to defend, send the other half onto these boats, go work on Bulgaria. He might even surrender, excellent, so we don't have to worry about it. And we just got a lot of to a lot more territory to give away now. You tell me. What do you think? Are we being fast enough? Are we going to break any records? It's the year 895. So we've been playing since 867. So in 897, it will have been 30 years. I don't know. Can't usurp that. That's annoying. Orthodox uprising. It's not going to stop us. We 
comes Bulgaria surrendering. Okay. All right. Well, I think it's about time to take a break. I need to eat some food. I need to eat food today. Is that my special interest character just changing his guardian? You little brat. Egyptian Sunni. No. Educate child. You are going to be educated by a damn Bedouin. A damn Bedouin. Mana mana. Here, I'll even give you one that's good at stuff. these wars down to the south doing anyway. Oh. Oops. Apparently I never sent them to go do anything. <laughs> That's uh, certainly slow things down a little bit. This is crap. King of Bulgaria is occupying things. You're not supposed to do that. It's my territory. And that would be the King of Bulgaria surrendering to me. He no longer occupies the stuff that I want, so yep, we'll accept his surrender. Now we just need to get the Basilius to surrender. Oh, it wasn't even the Basilius, just some other guy. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I need to go eat some food. As soon as I give away this territory. <laughs> if, I forget, if I don't do it now, I'll just end up having to do it later, so... I'll forget! At some point, I really do think I'm probably going to go down to having no no actual personal domain. It just makes it easier to hand out titles. Because then you don't have to scroll to the bottom, you know. You can't give away your last title, so it won't let you give away your capital. Well, it will, but your capital would just change. Can't usurp. Can... Okay, cool. So yeah, we are now that big. Abbasids. It's been not even 30 years. 28 years so far. And we have an army that is at 60,000. Next closest is Nantes, which almost definitely is just some Norse invasion guy or something. Breton, whatever. You can tell by his traits that he is. So no one can contest us. Now it's just about speed. How quickly can we do it? We need to attack everyone. Everyone we're allowed to attack, we just pretty much, in the next big push, we need to attack in all directions with the entirety of our levy. Let's, um, let's see if we're able to just disband right now. Oh, we still have a couple wars going. This is all retinue. Yeah, we gotta wrap these wars up. Okay. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.